Um, you know, there, there's a lot that goes into it. You know, you got to have make sure you're on the right page with the quarterback. We talk a lot about when to get the eyes back, uh, when to jab for the quarterback, when to look. Um, so it's a big timing thing. And then uh, to make the play, you just got to be able to contort your body in different ways, um, turn and catch it, and just be able to track the ball, um, late hand so the uh, defender can't get his hand in there and break it up. Um, so it's really just a, a big connection thing between the quarterback and the receivers or myself, who's ever catching them. Yeah, uh, it gets easier every time you throw with him, um, and it just gets easier for him to be able to kind of know where you're going to be, when you're going to be there, um, things like that. It just The more you play with a guy, the more you just have the same understanding. You see the field the same way. You see the game the same way. So uh, it just increases everything. Yeah, I think uh, Mark has been doing a good job. Um, you know, out at practice, he does a good job just making sure everybody's in the right spot, uh, doing the right thing. Uh, anytime you see him start running, he's, he's one of the fastest guys on the team, which is cool. Uh, and you can just see his progression getting better each day as he learns the offense a little bit more, uh, the ins and out of it. And then, uh, you know, the rest of the quarterback's been doing a good job too. Tanner, uh, he comes in every day uh, working, ready to uh, learn the offense, take the next step, takes the coaching points. And uh, he went and showed that uh, yesterday or two days ago, whenever it was, he played a good game. Uh, it was fun to watch him make some of the throws, some of the back shoulders throws we were talking earlier. It was pretty cool. So, Doug, um, I've been noticing the younger tight ends, they're doing pretty well. It, have they been, like, taking encouragement and coaching from you? Yeah, every day, you know, I just, I just tell them, uh, just go out there and do your best. <laughs> And that's what they've been doing. It's been fun to watch those uh, tight ends, you know. And, uh, you know, anytime they get a run on the nickel, uh, it seems like we have a lot of success. I don't know why that is, but hopefully it stays that way. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Man, um, it's just like a pick that's like not a not a expected one. like. All right, I'll pick. I'll pick. I'll pick a defensive player. I, I think Jalen Carter. Um, he's he's been getting a lot of hype. I had to try to block him twice today, and it wasn't easy. It was actually I don't know if you could even consider it blocking, but uh, he he's a special player. He's a special talent. Uh, I'm really excited to see what he can do this year. It's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun to watch him because uh, he's passionate about it and he's he's really good at what he does. Man, I I held on for like a half a second. I was out of there. I said I don't know. I don't know how they do it, man. This dude's a problem. So I'm excited he's on my team, though. Yeah, I think it's just, it's another year. Obviously, we had a lot of success last year. We were able to go uh, through the game plans that we had, uh, watch the film and see, uh, you know, who was able to do what at a high level. And uh, we've just been fine-tuning the offense to be specific to what we do well. And uh, I think that shows. And then anytime you spend more time, like I said earlier, with somebody, with the team, you know, I know where Jalen's going to be. I know where AJ's going to be. I know where Smitty's going to be, all that. So uh, it takes a lot to build up to it, but uh, we just got to keep taking the next Next step. Uh, I mean, as far as the old line room, uh, I think Jack Driscoll's made a lot of improvements. Uh, Fred Johnson's really had a strong camp. And then uh, for defense, man, I think uh, I think Jalen Carter's going to make a lot of noise this year. I really do. I think he uh, I think he can play right now and play at a very high level uh, right now. So I'm, I'm confident in him. Jalen. Yeah, I mean, most time he's inside on the guards. Every now and then he'll line up outside. Uh, you know, he's the guy that uh, if you're playing high, uh, he'll get the best of you. He uh, he plays very low. He's very strong and he's uh, he's very quick, lateral quickness. So, uh, you know, he's made a lot of people look silly in camp uh, so far. But yeah, man, I, uh, I've been I've been very impressed with him from day one. I think he has tremendous talent, ability, uh, and and he plays hard. So every down. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it goes down to reps. Um, and you look at athletic ability. Um, so, you know, he might be undersized. He's probably 305, 310. But far as strength-wise, like I was saying, 
all season, man. I've seen him front squat fucking 550 pounds. So, uh, you know, as far as a strength standpoint, he's strong as anybody on the line. Uh, good quickness. Uh, he can do a lot of things similar to Kels at the second level. And, uh, yeah, man, he's a scrapper. So, I mean, he comes comes to work every day, doesn't really get tired, uh, never complains, and just a good guy to have next to you. Uh, it's been good. Uh, just the more reps that we have, um, the better time that we can have with our with our steps in the run game and then pass blocking. Uh, just like I have with other guys with Isaac and Brooks, the more reps I took, the more comfortable I got. But I started in OTAs, but uh, ever since the beginning of the camp, we just consistently have gotten better week by week. And and so today was, uh, was a big day for us. Uh, we had a, a long drive drill, uh, lots of plays. So, um, you know, the good thing to get us all tired and then, you know, see how we – how we play, uh, you know, whenever that happens. Um, with Tyler, you don't get any reps with him while he's in a break guard, but you were talking about that chemistry aspect. Do you like it when you get to play against him? Do you actually get more than one player than one player? Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, as the season starts, you like to play with with one guy and, and try to keep that chemistry. But you know, throughout the years, we've we've had multiple guys in the lineup. But one thing I can say about Tyler, man, he has tremendous feet. Um, you know, so if he does miss or something with his hands, he has tra the the ability to recover. So tremendous feet, tremendous athlete, and and he's gotten better. Uh, you know, going out from tackle and then going to guard. So he has a lot of versatility. So I think as he cleans up his technique, he's he's going to become more efficient. But as uh, far as athleticism and movement, he's got it. Yeah. 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 Uh, I think I think Nolan. First of all, I think he has the right attitude, man. He's one of the most positive guys that we have. Uh, tremendous worker. So I think you know as he develops. Uh, more physically, I mean, he has the twitchiness and the speed. As he gets stronger in the weight room, add some weight. Uh, I just see that that snowballing. I think he's going to get better as time goes on. But uh, you saw even from the last preseason game, he bends around that edge uh, and he has a high motor. So he's making. I think he made that play on the on the sweep the other day, at uh, backside. So you see what type of uh, talent he has and and how hard he works. So he's he's a baller, man. Ooh, I'm trying to think. Uh, man, I mean, he's kind of similar to Hargrave with just, you know, his pass rush ability, but uh, I mean, I'm trying to think of somebody inside. Um, I mean, he's bigger than the Geno Atkins, but pretty twitchy, man. He's like, uh, you know, he's 6'3", 320. So he's like a bigger Geno, I would say. Um, but yeah, man, he's he's impressive. He's impressed me. Uh, I mean, man, I, I have a good routine going, so, um, you know, my thing is to mitigate soreness and, and fatigue, and so, you know, it's probably one of the best that I felt uh, so far throughout camp, but it's really about establishing a routine, so your mobility's good, your strength's good, so when you come out here, you're feeling good, and you're not, you know, having to drag your way through camp, so uh, I felt good uh, so far, um, you know, throughout the tenure. Yeah. Uh, you know, just um, a guy that you can have maybe at swing tackle and both guards, a guy that could probably start at either one of those. It's just, uh, you know, kind of like, I guess, what we did with Tobin whenever Tobin came in. Um, and every now and then you'll have a Swiss Army knife like him or, or, or Isaac. They kind of, uh, you know, when guys go down, you kind of want as, as many reps as possible. So I think there, there's a reason behind that, him playing so many positions, uh, just getting him comfortable. And, and uh, yeah, I mean, that's really it. Yeah, I think it's very important. Um, you know, last uh, week uh, or Thursday, I should say, I forgot today, Saturday. Uh, Thursday, we did uh, pretty good conditioning, so simulate 15 play drive. So today we did that. So, yeah, I mean, a lot of it's going to go down to the first game, man. You want to be in shape. And if you are behind, if you do have to throw the ball a lot, um, you know, you're ready. Your body's physically ready. So I'd rather get it all done here and be comfortable in the game. So uh, today was good, and I, and I imagine – you know, these next couple of weeks, we'll probably try to progress that even more uh, in, in extending the, the drives. 
I would say Reed. Uh, you know, he he's a guy that's, you know, picking up things very fast. I mean, from last year, you've seen the, the flashes of the plays he's making, and now, you know, second year um, around the team, around slating them, um, those the, um, vets that, you know, help him a lot in the way that he carries himself and the way that he goes out there and he, um, you know, retains information that offense give. I feel like he's going to have a big year. Um, making sure that you get your eyes around early because if you get them around too late, you're not going to see the ball. Uh, yeah, you got to practice that. You can't just go out there and just do it. You got to time it up with the quarterback. Uh, I mean, I kind of been knew it. He wore them all last year. I knew they was going to give it to him. Um, just, you know, keeping his head down, keeping the main thing the main thing. He does a good job of eliminating distractions and things like that. So him just being himself, just doing the things that he's been doing. It was all right. It was all right. Man, I've been a fan of Joe since Bama, man. You know, going, I've been going against Joe for a while. So just seeing him, you know, come out here, come out here and um, the trust that they have in him to um, put him out there and things like that, and he's only gotten better. Um, somebody that, you know, I believe in myself, seeing him from day one at Bama to now. Um, he's very physical. I mean, he's always been physical, but, um, you know, a guy that continues to be physical with guys, but also he understands offenses and understands leverages and things like that. Uh, you know, I'm excited, man. You know, another year to go out here and play the game that I love. Uh, it means a lot to me. You know, from day one, Slay has been, um, I would say, a mentor for me. Just when I'm out there, any little thing I'm doing, any little tales that I'm giving, he's he's telling me. So he's been like a, a big brother to me since day one. He's somebody that I, that I truly appreciate everything he does um, to help me elevate my game. Oh yeah, definitely. Cause when you go out there, um, you know, a lot of guys, a lot of keep like to keep things to themselves. They don't like to, you know, help you in things like this, especially in a business like this. Um, so him just, you know, helping me in things like that, I'm very appreciative of it. He was just talking back there about how his comfort level over the last two years or so really took off. What did he see from him? How was the communication? He's a physical player. Um, that's what you want to see in a safety. Uh, he's been flying around making plays even in games. Um, you saw him in the Ravens game making big hits. But uh, like, I, like he said, he's getting a lot more comfortable. Um, I can tell that he's starting to communicate a lot more, which is great. Um, that makes everybody's job a lot easier and more confident in everybody's call. You said he's a guy that makes plays in games and uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, because sometimes you got to hold back in practice. You know, you don't want to kill somebody, you know, hit them too hard. But like I said, he's flying around in games, and you could definitely see that. So that's, that's what I love about him. Mm -hmm. You just got to be comfortable with it. Um, I know all the guys next to me, they're, they're going to make the right calls, regardless of who it is. Um, that's how much confidence we have in our room. Uh, we talk a lot. Um, we're best friends on the field and off the field. You know, that's what you have to have it on the team. Oh, absolutely. You know, we'll go eat dinner together and, you know, just always communicate and talk, you know, just like we're, like I said, best friends. I knew that was coming. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I guess it's like I'm sitting here laughing about it, but man, I love Slay. Uh, I'm glad he has my back and stuff like that. Just saying, him saying something like that is it's Slay. I mean, he's. <laughs> I'm sorry, it just tickles me, but uh, you know, it's cool seeing him see that, uh, say that, and 
that's just what that just explains what we have in our room, you know, regardless of how long you've been in the league or how, like, like me, this is my second year. Uh, this, we just have fun together. You know, you can say stuff like that. It's fun. Yes and no. Um, I'm just glad to be back out here and playing football again. You know, that's what I wanted to do my whole life, and this is a dream. I'm, I'm trying to live my dream every day. Uh huh. It was a great. I was just blessed to have the opportunity to be out here. Um, I was fortunate enough to be on this team, and you know we have a lot of great guys. And like I said about Slay and James and everybody in our room, and even in the locker room, they're just great people. You know, I just felt right at home. To have a. Ooh. Let me see, Nicobe Dean. I just think he's up for it. Um, I feel like he's one of those dudes that people, you know, talk about him a lot, but he, he's one of those guys that comes to work every day. Um, he's very confident what he does. He, he showed a lot of talent last year. I mean, even in his college days, you know, I love him today. I love him like a brother, and, you know, I know he's going to get stuff done. Mm -hmm. It's all about finding your routine and sticking to it. Um, never get off course. It's like a mindset at this point, you know. Uh, I just can't wait to get back out there as soon as my name's called. You know, it, football is coming, and you know, I'm very excited for it. <laughs> it it's different. Um, it's a it's a mi it's a different mindset. You gotta make sure you still follow that routine because the season is coming up, and you don't want to. You don't want the first game to come on you and you'd be like, oh my goodness, it'd be like freak out and not do your routine. So uh, it, you just got to carry it out like every day game. I just always view myself as a football player, you know, regardless. Um, I'm going to try and give it my all wherever I am. And, you know, that's, that's why I love the game so much. You know, if it ended tomorrow, I'd, hopefully I'd Gave it all I got, but uh, you know I just love the game so much, and I'm just proud to be here. Say again. Out, yes and no. <laughs> like I said, we got a lot of great guys. It doesn't matter what year you are, where where you've came from, or you know if you're a practice squad guy. It does not matter. You know that's why this team's so close and we're so connected. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm always open for, you know, questions. Uh, I know how it was. I'm still in this situation now. Um, I'm still waiting on my name to be called. And, you know, I just go out and practice every day like, you know, it's your last time. That's why I tell them. Mm -hmm. Just got to keep going. Um, we got great coaches in there that get us in the right spot, and you got to be confident in all the uh, all your other teammates because they're going to do their job, and you got to do yours. It's, it's so many people, it's, it's hard to just pick one. I think we all want to have the best season of our careers. You know, um, it's hard. To, it's hard to pick one one person. You know, so that's awesome. Lizzie, what's it been like coming back to the area um, from a personal standpoint? From a uh, personally, it's been it's been great. You know, um, being close to my mom in, in particular has been really nice. Uh, she's been loving that. And then, uh, you know, professionally, it's like it's just a crazy full circle moment that uh, you know I'm, I'm embracing, and uh, you know, I'm just grateful for the opportunity to be here and compete. You know, at a, at a very high level. Did your, did your mom travel to see you play in, in yeah, for yeah, every, she, game? Uh, every home game, every home game. Uh, not yet, not yet. Uh, hopefully, but if not, she'll, she'll be at every game, so, yeah. Uh, I think they do a good job of, like, trying to share things that they do, you know, to the room, especially the young receivers and even, even myself, you know, and I think... Uh, 
it's just the culture in the receiver room to just everybody to try to make each other better, you know. So, uh, you know, you kind of just – I get to see them every day and what they do, and uh, you just kind of just peep, okay, he's doing that, he's getting here this time, doing things like that. And uh, you just, you know, take bits and pieces of that and try to incorporate that, incorporate that into your own routine. And uh, I think, like I said, I think it's just the culture of the, the receiver room here. Uh, <laughs> I think, I think from AJ, um, his, I guess his, his size and just how he, like he, for his size, he has a great body control and, uh, uh Smitty just like his, how smooth he is. I think I'm doing pretty well. You know, obviously I have things to clean up and work on and just, uh, you know, I, I think I talked about it before, just, you know, the, the nuances of the offense and stuff like that. But, you know, I'm just, every day I'm just trying to get better, and I, I think I'm doing pretty good. What's the key to being a good blocker? You seem like you're really attacking. Uh, it's really a mindset more so than anything. And, um, you know, I don't think it matters how, how big or small you are. It's more so a mindset than anything. How do you feel returning to I feel good. For sure, you know, it's something I work on, something I've been working on for since college. So, something I'm comfortable with, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm willing to do it. I think it's a, uh, you know, ever that process never really ends. You know, you're constantly. You know, getting reps with them during, during practice, before practice, after practice, talking about things and meetings and stuff like that. And uh, you know, that process never really ends. It's it's a uh, you know, you're you're gonna see new looks, you're gonna see different things, you're gonna you're gonna, you're gonna talk about you know the way he wants different routes run and stuff like that. So um, you know, it, it 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 takes time to get to a place where you're you know super comfortable and know exactly what each other wants and how things should look like. But uh, that process never really ends. I uh, just landed on it. Uh, I'll be all right. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Well, see, what do you think of the, the offense um, and the possibilities that, that exist? Uh, you know, I, you know, obviously it's a very talented group, but you know, you got to put the pieces together each and every each and every day. You got to work to get better and improve and to put things together again. You know, I think. One thing that people have always been talking about since I got here is like last year was last year, and you know this year we have to be our own team, be a new team. It's a lot of new pieces, there's new pieces in the offense and even in the team. So um, it's it's about what we do with each day moving forward and each day like presently. It doesn't matter what the, about the future and the past. It's like you got to stay in the present moment. I think him being a former receiver in the NFL definitely, uh, you know, adds a little of, like insight and perspective, especially uh, when it comes to like routes and different things like that. And uh, it's just he, he's a player's coach, so you know he, he's always going to have his players back. And uh, he, he's just he's been he's been somebody that's been a, a, a huge part of my corner so far and learning the offense and just trying to get better as a receiver. So he's he's been uh, really helpful for me. Uh, just being himself, really. It's not anything out of the ordinary or anything that he hasn't been doing, you know, since since uh, since before I got here. It's just being himself, and you know, you just naturally kind of gravitate towards him and and uh, build chemistry with him through that. So it's not anything in particular. It's just he's just being himself.